Yes! Hey guys, salut, this is Alex and today this video is part of the Pizza Odyssey in which we attempt at making the most perfect pizza indoor. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I suggest you to watch the intro right there. I'm waiting. It's too long. We are facing our biggest challenge yet, which is normal because it's the first one. The domestic oven. You see, a classic original Neapolitan pizza must be baked very quickly, and I quote, exclusively in a wood fire oven which has reached a cooking temperature of 485 degrees Celsius or 905 degrees Fahrenheit. In the previous and frightening sentence, I understood two distinct information. First one, the pizza has to be cooked in a wood fire oven which implies some good old smoky flavors and clearly I won't be covering that in this video but I do have a solution for it. And the second information, 485 degrees Celsius is high. Crazy high! Sadly, there is absolutely no way that a domestic oven could reach that crazy high temperature. Yet I reckon there are techniques that will allow us of getting close to the result we need. So the first technique I want to share with you is to bake your pizza at the maximum temperature of your oven, of course, but not on a baking tray, on a baking stone. OMG. Dude, the baking stone are like the most common thing on the planet. I mean, we are learning like nothing here. Do you believe I would go out and buy a baking stone, a common one, and just show you how to use it? Hell no! We are gonna build one. A massive one and tailor-made, of course. My idea is to use fire bricks in order to create a thick mini oven inside my domestic oven in order to create a maximum of energy. And on top of that, most of the baking stones they sell are way too thin if you consider the volumetric heat capacity, of course. What? Volumetric... What? Never mind, just relax and let go. I mean, let's go and get those fire bricks. Hopefully everything's gonna be fine. This is the place I was looking for so much. Brick, 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 brick. Ba, 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 Bricca refractare. I think I found it. Believe it, guys. I think this is on the last floor. So we have all the fire bricks. And I guess now it's just a matter of playing Tetris in a way. I had to cut a few of these in half. It was some kind of an adventure, but you already know that because you might be following my Instagram or my Facebook. If not, then boom! I am placing my mini oven in the highest position available inside my domestic oven in order to maximize the heat. The mini brick oven seems ready to me and amazing and epic to the max. Also a bit off the guarantee side, so don't try something stupid, let me take care of it. If you think this beast is sexy as hell, then click on it and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> oh, my oven has been preheating to the max on boiler mode for about an hour, so let's give it a quick and precise temperature check. Yes, I said precise, so what? Well, nothing, but the French guy just happens to be the worst accurate person on the planet. Fair enough, you know I like my cooking rough and intuitive, but sometimes... You just gotta step up for the sake of science. And pizza. The air in the oven just reached 303 degrees Celsius or 577.4 degrees Fahrenheit and the stone has a surface temperature of, you know, about 297.6 degrees Celsius or 567.68 degrees Fahrenheit, approximately, of course. So I know this is still low if you compare it to, like, for example, a Neapolitan oven, but I reckon this is fair if you consider the cheap materials we used. For safety reasons, squeeze on some oven-proof gloves and let's give it a try with the pizza I just made. Easy, easy, I know you want the pizza recipe. Don't worry, I will show you how to make the dough, what toppings to put on it and what not. For the moment, let's focus on the heat. Carefully slide the pizza in the oven and let the magic happen. What 
At the end, let's see what we've got with our Brick Oven 2.0 Ultimate Edition. The pizza tastes amazing. It's crispy on the crust and it's soft and chewy as well. It has a tender center and it even has some chard on the bottom. Not so much, but just a bit. It's great, maybe not exactly the most convenient setup, okay, but the result speaks for itself. So I say it's a nice start. A start? And yes, that's a start because in the next wonderful episode of the Pizza Odyssey, we will push the limit of my oven to the next level. If you like this video, then thumbs up, like it, and share that over on your social media. Also, please subscribe to my channel because basically you don't want to miss a next pizza episode. Bye bye, salut!